Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my dear brothers and sisters. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with the best in this world and the next. Do we know what happens when we stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we recite Surah Al Fatiha, the opening chapter of the Quran? Perhaps understanding it and knowing exactly what happens as we recite this surah is the key to taking our salah to the next level. أَلَمْ يَأْنِنِ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَن تَخْشَعَ قُلُوبُهُمْ لِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ بسم الله الحمد لله الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Before we go into talking about what exactly is happening as we recite Surah Al-Fatiha we need to understand the importance of Surah Al-Fatiha and just exactly what is this chapter, the opening chapter of the Quran that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala legislated for us to recite a minimum of 17 times a day. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose this as the greatest surah in the Quran. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that the greatest surah in the Quran is the chapter of Al-Fatiha, Surah Al-Fatiha. One day when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was with Jibreel Alayhi Salam, they heard a noise coming from the heavens. So Jibreel Alayhi Salam looked up and he said a door from the heavens has opened, that which has never been opened before. An angel came down from the heavens and he told the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that glad tidings to you, Abshir. Glad tidings to you with the two lights, you have been given that which no one before you has been given it. Fatihatul Kitab, the opening chapter of the Quran and the ending of Surah Al-Baqarah. And no letter is recited from this except that the person is given. So this Surah, no Prophet has been given the equivalent to it before the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So what exactly happens when we stand in front of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and recite this surah in our prayers? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said that I have divided the prayer into two halves between me and my slave. And the prayer here, As-Salah, is referring to Surah Al-Fatiha because the prayer is not valid except that we recite this Surah in it because without the recitation of Surah Al-Fatiha in our prayers the Salah, the prayer is not accepted by Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala. so when we stand in front of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala and we recite Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen when we recite this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, My slave has praised me. All praise, everything belongs to Allah, the true Lord, the one who deserves all worship. No worship is directed except to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because He is the creator. He knows everything that happens. He is the one who provides for us. Rabbil Alameen, the Lord of the universe, the Lord of everything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes care of everything in the heavens and the earth. Nothing happens except by His permission. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, My slave has exalted me. The most merciful, the ever merciful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His mercy encompasses everything. His mercy is greater than everything. He loves us more then our own mothers love us. And he's especially merciful to the believers. When we recite this ayah, Allah says, My slave has glorified me. The king of the day of the resurrection. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the king. Everything that happens in his kingdom, he knows about. Everything is his kingdom. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He gives from His kingdom to those who He wants. And they can do what they want in it. But on the day of judgment, when we stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, nobody will have any authority except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That will be the day 
that we will be taken into account when we recite when we recite this ayah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells that this is between me and my slave and for my slave is that which they ask for when we recite that you alone we worship and you alone we turn to for help now exactly what is worship worship is everything that is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from actions and sayings that which is apparent and that which is hidden on the outside and on the inside and seeking aid from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to depend on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us that which we ask for, to ward off, to ward off the evil with true reliance upon Him, that we trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And some of the Salaf, the early generation of pious Muslims used to say that Surah Al-Fatiha is the secret of the Qur'an. And the secret of this surah is in the verse that you alone we turn to for help and you alone we seek aid. And this is the purpose that we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone because He is the true Lord. He is the one who created us. He is the one who takes care of us. He is the one who hears everything. He knows everything. And He is the only one that can help us and benefit us. We worship Him and we seek His help in being able to worship Him. Because if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not help us, we can't do anything. And this is the state of his slave that he or she depends entirely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they take the means, they do what's necessary. But they know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who benefits them and who wards off harm from them. And then we recite, that guide us to the straight path, the path of truth, the path that is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And who is upon this path? The path of those that you have favored. Those people who are you are pleased with and keep us away from the path of those people that are astray and those people who you are angry with. And Allah says, this is for my slave and for him is what he asked for. So when we ask for guidance, when we ask for to be guided to his path and we say, Ameen at the end, which means, oh Allah, accept. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us for us is that guidance. Imagine the state of our salah if we were consciously present as we recite this surah. That each ayah we're reciting, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is responding to us. Ibn Rajab he said, and this happens every single rak'ah, every time we stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we recite the Fatiha, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is responding back to us. And today's exercise is that as we stand up for our salah, to become mindful of exactly what is happening when we recite this surah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is responding back to us. And the more mindful we try to become, the more we practice every time we stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we become mindful that He is responding to me, that I'm standing in front of Him, that I'm about to address Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and He's going to respond back to me. It will increase the concentration that we have in our salah. And every time we stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we focus and we remind ourselves that we are standing in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our creator, our sustainer, the one who has given us everything that we have is from Him alone. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase us in khushu, in tranquility and concentration in our prayer. Until next time, Salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Inna Allah la yughayir ma bi qawmin hatta yughayir ma bi anfusihim.